Hey, it's teacher Tina again. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that last video and had fun with Miss Day doing your math movement and your math talk. Um, I'm back with a similar game, but a little bit different way to play it. And, and um, you know, I just want to say, I'm new to making videos, so this is the second time I've started this video. You are all trying new things at home, and us teachers, we're all trying new things too. So stick with me if I make some mistakes, okay? I'm having some fun though. I really am liking this. Although, I would much rather be doing this with you in person, of course, so... All right, let's check this out. So yesterday, well, last time we played the game, the penny, hide the penny game. Remember when I had the pennies down here and I was hiding them under my hands and asking you how many, you know, how many were left, that kind of thing, or how many I was hiding, right? So we're gonna do something like that again, but this time we're gonna add something called a tens frame. And I'm gonna show you how to make one, it's really easy. So. First, what you do is you draw a rectangle with two long sides, okay, and two short sides, like that. So you draw a rectangle first. Then you put a line through the middle of that rectangle. And look, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Mine's not perfectly straight. I got a little wobble here and there. And then we're gonna put four lines through those those through this middle part, okay? Ready? So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. Now that should have made 10 boxes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, I got 10, awesome. So I've got a tens frame there. Now I'm going to use my pennies in my tens frame to help me with hide the pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was lucky. I just grabbed ten pennies. I hadn't even counted. I just grabbed a handful and there happened to be ten. How fun. All right. So... Now, when I hide pennies, it might be a little quicker, might be a little easier to see right away how many I have and how many you have left, how many are left on the tens frame, okay? So let's give it a try, ready? How many pennies do I have under my hand? One, two, three are missing, so how many are under my hand? Wow, this tense frame really makes that quick and easy, doesn't it? Holy cow. All right, let's see. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Ready? I'm going to do it a little differently this time, though. You ready? All right. I want to lose my, my book there. Now how many do I have under my hand? Did you say four? Let's see if you were right. Whoop, <laughs> one slid away. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Wow, using this tens frame makes it really easy because it's organizing what we see. Look at that. Holy moly. All right, now what if I put them back? And I'm going to use an extra piece of paper here. To go like this. I'm going to try to make it trickier but you're so smart I don't know okay ready how many pennies do I have hiding did you say five let's see one two three four five are missing Let's see if that's how many were here. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, you got it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more with this tens frame because it's so fun. And let's see if you're playing with someone at home, you could turn the game into who can say it faster, right? 
So who said whoever says it first wins. All right, so you ready? I'm gonna take them away. I'm gonna take some away. I'm gonna hide some again. Okay, how many pennies am I hiding? <laughs> Sorry, that was distracting if you were playing with somebody and you lost. That's partly my fault. Here, so did you say six? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Let's try one more time because that sliding penny might have distracted you. You might have lost to the person you're playing with because of that sliding penny distraction. All right, let's try one more time. Are you ready? Whoa, whoa. Like I said, first time, not, I'm not very good at videos yet, but I'm practicing a lot. So let's see. Uh, okay, I'm going to take. Okay, how many pennies am I hiding? Did you count four missing right away? Let's see. One, two, three, four. <laughs> cool. That's fun. So that is something that you can play at home. You can make it into a competition if you feel like it. And the next time I play this game with you, we're going to try to make it harder with more pennies and a, more tens frames and see what happens. Okay. Now, last time we read uh, Who Sank the Boat. I just can't get this camera thing right. Nope, that's not right either. There we go. Last time we read Who Sank the Boat, and we talked about balance. You might have remembered that. And we talked about whether the boat was being balanced or whether it was tipping. Well, this time we're going to read it a little bit differently. So, yeah, you can read the same book more than once but looking at it a different way we say using a different perspective so you can look at it a different way so this time we're going to read the book who sank the boat by pamela allen with the donkey and the cow and the mouse that stinky little mouse and the sheep and the pig right yeah and this time we're going to think about how many animals are in the boat and what happens when we add one to the number of animals in the boat all right so this is a interesting way to think about who sank the boat there's that boat right now it's balanced and right now how many animals are in that boat that's right zero there are zero animals in that boat I'm gonna need this back later, so I'm gonna take it with me. Okay. Here's that first page with no words, and we see those animals coming out of the house, heading down to the boat. All right, let's see. Okay, so remember beside the sea on Mr. Peffer's place, there lived a cow a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. Let's count how many there are all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There's five. So there's five all together. And those five good friends, one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. A bay is a kind of water, a kind of body of water. So here's the rowboat with the rows, the oars that they're going to row with, and here's the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Of course you do because you already watched yesterday's video. Well, like I said, we're going to read it a different way today. So of course we know who sank the boat. Well, was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? Now here's how we're going to think differently about this story today. So we're going to start thinking about it with numbers. So we're going to start with the boat here. How many animals are in the boat right now? How many are in the boat? These animals aren't in the boat. They're up on the dock. So right now there are zero animals in the boat. Okay. 
So there's zero animals in the boat. Just a second. I'm going to make sure that I'm on track here. Right. And how many animals get in? Right, just one. The cow gets in first. So we've got zero plus one makes how many in the boat? Just one in the boat. So it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? All right, ready? So was it the donkey who balanced her weight? Who yelled, I'll get it at the bow before it's too late. Now remember, we're thinking about this in a different way today. So right now, the donkey's almost in it, but the donkey's not in it yet. So how many are in it right now? Just one, just the cow is in it right now. So there's one in the boat and it's not balanced. <laughs> I would be very afraid if I were that cow getting into that. If I were the cow in the boat, I would feel very anxious, which it looks like she is looking a little anxious. How many are getting in the boat now on this page? Just one, the one, the donkey, right? So if you said one, you got it. So right now we've got one plus one. How many are gonna be in the boat once the donkey gets in? We've got one plus one. Did you say two? Yeah, nice work. Uh oh, let me find my sticky. Two. Now there are two in the boat. Because it wasn't the donkey, she balanced her weight. So she didn't sink the boat. Do you know who sank the boat? We've got one plus one making two. One and one is two. All right. All right. So here we go. Was it the pig as fat as butter? I bet you've got this down now. Okay. So was it the pig who was as fat as butter who stepped in the side and caused a great flutter? So take a look at the boat. First, how many are in the boat now? So there's two in the boat to start. Okay. The cow and the donkey are in the boat. And we're gonna add one, the pig. We're adding that one pig. There she is. Two plus one. Now how many are gonna be in the boat? Because we know the pig didn't sink it. You already read it, yes. We already read this in the last video. So you know it's not the pig. So we know that there's two plus one How many animals are in the boat now? One, two, th did you say three? Yes, three, yeah, amazing. Okay, so now there's three, you got it. So it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Of course you know who sank the boat. We did it in the, stop that. Stop shouting the mouse, stop shouting that it was the mouse. Okay, was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat? Remember, level is another word for balance. To level the boat so that she could knit. Oh boy. <laughs> How many animals are in the boat right now? There's the pig, the cow, and the donkey. There's three in the boat right now. And we're going to add how many more? They're just getting in. How many at a time are getting in? Just one at a time are getting in. So here's one. Okay. So this time we've got three plus one more. Let's see. It wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. We knew it wasn't the sheep, right? We knew it wasn't the sheep. So she knew where to sit. So now how many are in this boat that it's all balanced? We had, oh goodness, let's see. Let's go back, it's getting bigger now. Three plus one. One, two, three, four, ah! So I know that three, these three plus one more is four. Four, okay. Now, <clears throat> one, 
Was it the little mouse? The last to get in? The lightest of all? Could it be him? All right, ready? How many animals are here? One, two, three, four. So there's four to start. And in comes one more, right? So we've got four plus one, which equals how many are going to be in the boat now? Oh, <laughs> that's right, because it was the mouse that sank it. So there would have been five in the boat. Should we count how many would have been in the boat if that stinker mouse hadn't knocked everybody out? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, there would have been five in that boat if it hadn't been for that little mouse who we did know was going to sink the boat because we read the video yesterday. Let's see. Did they all make it back to the shore though? Let's make sure they all made it back to shore and nobody got left in the water. There's the cow, one, the donkey, two, the pig, three, the sheep, four, and over here is the mouse, there's five. They all made it out of the boat. And now, of course, our last page. How many are in the boat? Did you say zero? You got it. There are zero in that boat again. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that reading of Who Sank the Boat. It is certainly one of my favorite books. Let's take a look at our list here. First, we played a game. Second, we read a story. Third, you're going to do some moving with teacher, uh, not teacher Mimi, that's someone in my class. Hi, teacher Mimi. You're going to do a third, third, you're going to do a math movement with Miss Day from Arbor Heights. And fourth, you're going to do a math talk with Miss Day also. So I hope you guys have fun and I am going to be making one more video for you tomorrow for everybody in Seattle. And then... I don't know, I'll probably keep making them because I'm having a good time and I miss all of you and I don't know, that's kind of fun trying new things, isn't it? Even though we're not perfect at them and we can be a little silly at them, it's fun to try new things. I miss you all. See you next time. And it's over to you now, Miss Day. It's your turn. Have fun moving and talking. Hello, kindergartners and first graders. And my name is Miss Day and I'm here to do a movement exercise with you. And in honor of your book reading with teacher Tina of Who Sank the Boat, I am wearing a fun animal costume and it happens to be a unicorn just for you. And so what we're gonna do today is we are going to stretch our arms out and we're gonna count by fives and make arm circles. And before we do that, I just want you to know that all your teachers miss you and we cannot wait to be back at school with you soon. All right, so make sure you have room to put your arms out and we're gonna count by fives. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. All right. Remember that you can do this exercise anytime in your own home and you can count by fives, you can count by ones, you can count by tens. What else can you count by? All right, we'll see you next time. And up next is our number talk. All right, bye. Hello again, kindergartners and first graders. It's Miss Day, preschool teacher from Arbor Heights, and I just want to remind you how much we miss you and we wish we were still in school with you and can't wait to get back there with you. 
and I'm so happy to be here with you in your homes and we're going to do another number talk and as you can see my friends are here again um, we have spider-man Furby and monster and also bumblebee and you will notice that last time they were all together and right now they're unable to be together um, just like us at school Furby and Monster, um, they actually are cousins and they live together, so they are still together and we're still happy that we could all be together today for this number talk. Okay, so just like yesterday, I'm going to show you an image and it's an image of coins and I want you to look at the image. You only get about three seconds to see it and I want you to think in your mind, what do I notice? How many do I see and how do I see them? Hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna share our thinking with each other. Are you ready? Okay, now you can just remember in your mind. If you wanna use a paper and draw what you see, that's okay too. And if there's a grown up or a friend or a, a friend that's a toy nearby that you can talk to, that works too. Okay, are you ready, Spider Man? All right, you ready for being a monster and bumblebee? Okay. Well, remember, you're only gonna see it for a couple seconds. Okay, now we're thinking. Hmm, what did I just see? Coins, pennies, how many? And how did I see them? Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay, now I think we all have a pretty good idea, maybe, of what we saw. So let's look at it all together. And before I do, can you show me with fingers, or if you want to write it down or say it out loud, how many did you see? How did you see them? Let's look at it together. Okay. Who would like to go first? And remember, just like yesterday, there's something not right with my audio, so I will help Monster and Furby and Spider-Man and Bumblebee share their thinking with you. Okay, who wants to go first? Okay, Monster, you're up. How did you, how many did you see and how did you see them? Oh, okay, Monster said that he saw two groups, you said Monster? Okay, so Monster said he saw a group here And he said he also hmm, saw a group here. And, oh, he said it reminded him of when he plays games with his family. And have you ever seen a dice or a die? Oh, it has a number on there. Oh, and he knows that it's the number five. Okay, so Monster, how did you count them? Oh, by five. So you had how many? Okay. So he's saying he had 10 and he knew that because he counted five, 10. Did you see it like monster? If you did, can you go like this? Okay. So let's see, who would like to share next? Hmm. Spider-Man, you wanna share with us your thinking and what you saw? Oh, I see that it looks like you're right there next to the world. Thank you for taking time out to join us for this, Spider-Man. Okay. Okay, so you also saw 10, and how did you see them? Let's see if I can change the color so you can see it better. Okay, so Spider-Man says he saw, oh, that's interesting. He saw two on top, 
of this group. So you also saw two groups and you saw two on the bottom of this group, okay? Oh, and two whoop, there, and two here on the bottom, and two in the middle. So, hmm, Spider-Man, how did you count these? You counted them by twos. Hmm. I'm gonna let you try at home. See if you can figure out how Spider-Man counted them by twos. We could count together. Let's do it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So, Spider Man, you got ten too. So, you saw ten, and Monster saw ten, and you both saw groups, but Monster saw it by fives, and you saw it by counting by twos. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing your thinking. Okay, let's see, Bumblebee or Furby, do one of you want to share your thinking and how many you saw and how you saw them? Okay. All right, Bumblebee, how did you see them? Okay. So Bumblebee, he's saying that he noticed four on the bottom, and four on the top, and two in the middle. Huh, if you saw it like Bumblebee, can you go like this? So how many was that, Bumblebee? 10, all right, so we just found and heard three different ways to look at the same picture, came up with the same number, and solved the problem differently. Thank you so much for sharing your thinking and I'm so excited to join with you again tomorrow for another number talk.